Hello everyone, welcome back to Administrative Office Procedures and Management. So we are now in our week 7. <laughs> we are now in our week 7 and um, this is uh, the week after the preliminary examination. So I hope you are done with your exams uh, and you got some scores in your exam. <laughs> some lang, no? Hindi perfect score. But then anyway, okay, so before we move on, um, please have it your module so that you will have a guide in the discussion that we're going to have in this video. Okay, so the topic for this um, lesson is all about um, business letters. Okay, so, ayan. Ano bang business letter? A business letter is a format, formal document often sent from one company to another or from a company to its clients, employees, and stakeholders, for example. Business letters are used for professional correspondence between individuals as well. Okay, so when you say business letters, ito yung pinaka um, kumbaga formal type of um, of communication when it comes to business. Okay, so ito yon. So for example, mag apply ka ng trabaho, yung application letter mo, business letter ba yon? Of course, that's a business letter. So application letter is an example of a business letter. Okay, so um, sabi dito, letters are brief messages sent to recipients that are often outside the organization. They are often printed on letterhead paper and represents the business or organization in one or two pages. Shorter messages may include emails or memos, either hard copy or electronic, while reports tend to be three or more pages in length. Okay, so don't in explain lang naman kung ano yung difference ng letter dun sa um, tinatawag nating report. So, business letter dapat brief lang yan. Brief um, letter lamang. Okay, so ayan. So, what are the elements of a business letter? So, kung titignan ninyo dyan sa module ninyo, meron tayong 7. So, first, we have the sender's address. Okay? So, ano ba yung sender's address? Napaka, ano naman yan? Napaka, um, self-explanatory. Okay? So, when you say sa sender's address, yun yung, um, kung example, ako yung nag-send, therefore, yung sender's address is my address. Okay, so optimally, you want to have printed company letterhead. Letterhead similar to having a company website conveys that your business is legit. But even if the address is simply typed at the top, including your address plays a practical purpose because you don't want the recipient to have to look up your address in order to send a respond. Okay, so that is why you have to put a sender's address. Para nang sa ganun, pag nag-respond si recipient or yung tatanggap ng letter, hindi ka na niya kailangang i-search pa. Okay, dapat nandun na. So make it easier for your recipient para nang sa ganun, hindi siya matamad na mag-reply. So, that is the, the purpose why you need to put a sender's address doon. So, saan siya nakikita? It's on the top. So, usually, ang mga letters kasi, ang mga business letters, um, nasa, ano yung sabi nila, nasa left, yung left lahat, ganun yung usually na ginagamit na format. Though, marami tayong format, pero yun yung basic, um, yun yung pinakagamit na format. Yung nasa um, aligned left lahat. Aligned left, yes, less, left aligned lahat. Nung ano. So, when you say um, sender's address, yun yung, yung address mo na nag-send nung letter. And then, after that, um, uh, two spaces or one space below is the date. Whoever receives the letter needs to know when the letter was written. It's best to use a standard U.S. format. So, for example, September 20, 2018. September 20, 2018. So, yun yung standard na US format na tinatawag. So, usually, yun yung ginagamit. So, yung date, um, for example, kapag ka nagta-type ka, di ba, o oh, churva, 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 nes, nes, yung, yung sender's address, and then, enter, enter. So, yung second na enter mo, dun mo ilalagay yung date. And then, enter, enter ulit, dun mo ilalagay yung recipient's address na tinatawag. So, recipient address. Ano yung recipient address? Include the recipient's address so that you have the information readily available for printing out the envelope. A full recipient address also helps ensure the letter doesn't get lost in the office shuffle wherever you are sending it. The first line should be the name including any honorific such as Mr., Mrs., Doctor, etc. For example, attorney, engineer, Churvanes, Ganern. Dapat kasali. The second line 
one is the recipient's job title. For example, uh, um, administrator, uh, instructor, ganon. Okay, so yun yung second um, na line. And then, their company's name goes on the third line. So, for example, you're writing that letter to me. So, I'm the recipient. So, yung recipient address ay magiging um, Chrisabel Mansano Bayungasan or Chrisabel M. Bayungasan. And then, next line um, uh, instructor and then next line Cordillera A plus Computer Technology College. Okay, so yun yung magiging format. Okay, and then the remaining lines includes street address, city, state, and zip code. So for example, yun sinabi ko kanina, Chrisabel M. Bayungasan, um, instructor Cordillera A plus Computer Technology College, Dagupan West, or Bersamin Building, Dagupan West, Tabuk City, Kalinga, 3800. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung, that is how you write yung ating tinatawag na recipient address. So, next, after recipient address, magkakaroon na naman kayo ng one step, ay one um, line or one space. Okay? Di ba? Pag space ulit kayo, enter and then enter, tsaka dun kayo magsasulat nung tinatawag natin na salutation. Ano naman yung salutation? Ito usually yung, Dear Ma'am, Dear Sir, um, Dear Madam, Dear teacher, ganun. Yun yun, yung dear, Churvanes, ang salutation. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going too fast. Okay, so let's um, slow down. So, yun yung tinatawag nila na salutation. Yung my dear ma'am, dear sir, to whom it may concern, ganun. Yun yung salutation. Next, we have the body. Ano naman yung body? Time is money in the business world. So, get down to business and quickly make your case or communicate your message. Stay professional, be clear and concise, and quickly convey the point of your letter. So, when you say body, ito na yung buod or nilalaman ng iyong letter. So, sabi dito, make it concise. Make it straight to the point. Okay? Na in a professional manner, wag naman yung nakakabastos, di ba? So, ayun. Sabi nga, time is money in the business world. So, wag mong lagyan ng kung ano-anong introduction na pagkahaba-haba. Tapos, yung sasabihin mo lang naman pala doon is pautang, di ba? Ang haba-haba na nung, ang haba-haba na nung introduction mo eh, mag mangungutang ka lang naman pala. So, sinabi mo na sana agad-agad. Instead na pautangin ka, dahil sa nabwisit na sa'yo sa haba-haba nung introduction mo, wala na. Hindi ka na pa utangin na buisit ni sa ang dami mong sinayang na oras eh okay so ganun yung body so when it comes to doing or making a business letter make sure that the body is brief informative uh, and straight to the point okay Next, we have the closing and the signature. Ano naman yung closing and signature? Stick with the more formal closing such as sincerely or thank you. You should only capitalize the first word of the closing. Remember to follow the closing with four lines of space in order to make room for your signature, which demonstrates your personal stamp of approval of the letter's content. Okay, so, um, ito yung dapat, to make it formal, yung letter mo, you have to put your name and then your signature. So, sabi dito, pag naglalagay ka ng name, kung saan ka maglalagay ng signature, so, for example, yung body, di ba, natapos na. Uh, and then, you're going to put Sincerely yours. Or sincerely yours. Okay, so and then magkakaroon ka ng one, o ng enter, 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 dun mo, dun sa fourth enter mo, ilalagay yung iyong um, name. Kung saan, for example, ikaw, or for example, ako naman, Crisabel Mansano ba yung asan dun sa baba, para nang sa ganun, pag nag-sign ako, meron akong space. Okay? So, yun yung importante na, na, um, anuhin ninyo, na ikabesa ninyo when it comes to putting yung, yung closing ninyo and then your signature. And then, seven is your enclosures. Ano naman yung enclosures? If there are additional items to enclose with the letter, it's best to list them so that the recipient remembers what was included in the letter. Include enclosures three lines below your signature. So, di ba? Nag-sign ka. And then, um, enclosures one, two, three. Or enter, enter, enter. Tapos, dun ka susulat ng enclosures mo. Use this style if, for example, you want to indicate that there are two enclosures. So, enclosures, one, two. Um, okay, so, nandiyan naman sa ano ninyo kung paano siya gagawin. Okay, so, ayan. Now, um, 
Ayan yung example ng business letter. I think it's also included in your, yeah, it's also included in your uh, module. So, tignan na lang ninyo. Uh, ayan, yung company name, ganyan yung format. So, first, you have your your sender's address and then, of course, yung date and then yung, yung recipient's address and then dear, yung salutation and then you have the body and then you have the sincerely yours and then you have the name and the signature and then nandun din yung enclosures. Okay, so this is the complete um, business letter format basic business letter format so now of course there are also optional parts in a business letter first is yung attention line na tinatawag so when you say attention line ito yung ano yung for example if the letter is going to a large company an attention line can provide you a bit of necessary emphasis you need so that the letter goes where it needs to go Right, attention, and then the name and the recipient. For example, attention, human resources. Attention, uh, administrative um, office, ganon. Attention, guidance counselor, okay? So, para saan yung attention line? It is para bigyan ng emphasis or to make it clear that this letter is for those who are in um, HR department. This is for the guidance counselor, ganon. So, subject or reference line, this part can focus the recipient on the letter's actual purpose. So, dito sasabihin mo kung ano yung subject mo. Or for, di ba, kapag ka may email ka, di ba, merong, um, sa email kasi, sa taas is yung recipient or yung, yung send, um, um, receiver, kung kanino mo isi send, send to, sabi doon. And then, susunod is yung tinatawag natin na subject. Okay, so ano yung subject? So, yun yung yun yung purpose din ng subject or reference line. You put there what your subject is or where did you get this reference from. For example, you are writing this letter um, as a response to a letter that was sent by this company. So, for example, may send, nag-send sila, sila ng request um, or nag-send sila ng letter sa'yo itong si company ABC, nag-send ng letter sa'yo and then you're going to, to um, ang tawag dito, reply to that specific letter, so lalagay mo doon, reference line. So, doon sa reference line mo, ilalagay na this letter is a respond to your Churvanes letter. Okay? So, ganon. Now, um, we also have the five main areas of the business letter. So, first, we have the heading, which establish the sender, often including address and date. So, ito yon yung heading is... Yung, um, yung nasa taas, yung rec uh, ano, recipient or the sender's address. Okay, so yung sender's address and then the date, that is what you call the heading. And then the introduction, which established the purpose, the body, which articulates the message. So yun yung body, message. Next, the conclusion, which restates the main point and may include a call to action. And then lastly, the signature line, which sometimes includes the contact information. So these are the five main areas of the business letter. So hindi na natin yan i-discuss ng isa-isa kasi, di ba, na-discuss ko naman na yung parts nung, nung business letter. Um, so I think, ano lang to, sinamarize lang nung five areas of a business letter, kung ano yung nilalaman nung, or kung ano yung mga, um, tawag dito, kung ano yung mga elements ng business letter na na-discuss natin kanina, which are seven okay so i think that's it Ang susunod na dito is your reference okay so that's it now let's move on to your requirements so this activity ninyo for the requirements now that you have received a sample letter write at least two business letters and address it to any of your instructor and I will let them evaluate how effective your business letter is. Assume you are applying for. So the letter that you're going to make is an application letter. Okay? To be addressed uh, to your instructor. So choose um, an instructor. So syempre, dalawa dapat yung instructor na pipiliin ninyo kung kanino ninyo i-address ia yung inyong magiging letter. So, apply as an assistant manager, as an assistant supervisor, administrative officer, an instructor, or a student assistant. So, mamili kayo sa lima na yan. Lima ba? Yeah. Mamili kayo sa lima na yan and then gumawa kayo ng dalawang letter for your instructor one and for your instructor two. So, of, of your own choosing yung instructor na susunod Ninyo, and then I'm going to ask them to evaluate the letter kung effective ba or hindi. Okay? So, ayan. 
Before we end this, uh, ano yung mga key points or yung mga kailangan ninyong alalahanin when it comes to to um, writing a business letter? Make it concise, make it straight to the point, and make it short. And of course, don't forget to make it professionally done. Tama? Um, when you say professionally done, tignan ninyo na kahit na straight to the point and brief yung letter, hindi siya nakakabastos. Um, basahin muna ninyo once, twice, thrice before um, stumping it and sending it out. Okay? So that's it everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope I was able to help you understand yung simple lang naman na ating module. Um, and I also, uh, I hope I was also able to help you in, um, of course, formulating or understanding yung inyong magiging um, activity. So, ayan, I hope to see you again in our next video. Good day and God bless.